What's going on, YouTube? You know who it is already. Johnny here, JRT Productions. And I'm here, y'all, bringing y'all a video. I really wanted to bring you the fullness. You know, uh, normally when I do mods or installations, I try to give you step by step in everything, you know, that I do to uh, install whatever I'm installing. So, but this particular time, uh, me and my homeboy Keith, who y'all met in the other video, uh, we install the, the lights that you all saw, like on the dashboards and uh, and on the door panels and whatnot. So we got started kind of late. I got a little bit of the footage, but I didn't get the entire setup. So I'm just going to give you a brief rundown right now of everything that you would have to really do. Uh, it's really not difficult at all. The lights are simply a band, and they're connected by 12 by a 12 volt, you know, like a cigarette lighter or whatever, or your charger. Who has cigarettes? But uh, so it's connected by that, and basically, for those of you who have challenges, uh, they're connected. The positive and the negative are connected to the lights underneath, like right above your feet. So the lights that are continuously on, uh, if you all notice, like by the door handle, the little very very dim light that's like right under the uh, right above your feet those are what the lights are connected to well okay so for the driver's door and the dashboard that's connected to the driver's side lights and the door panel the right uh, the passenger side door is connected to the light under the passenger side so that's pretty much where the connections are now as far as running the connections through that comes you have to take off the door panel and basically try to hide it as, as best as possible. Now Keith, he's a very thorough guy, real cool dude, and you know what he's doing, and I appreciate it. Everything that he did to help me to do this, because I, so I couldn't have did it without him, real talk. I couldn't have did it without him. So it was great to uh, have somebody like that working alongside me because, I don't know, maybe a few years ago when I didn't appreciate, you know, a, good, a great car <laughs> such as this, I probably would have been like, you know what, man? put the lights on but I'm just gonna stuff these cords up under the seat or I probably would have shoved it behind the carpet and had like the the multiple uh, 12 volt plug that you buy from like AutoZone or Advanced Auto Parts or something and uh, like stuff that under the seat or in between the seat and the center console you know I probably would have did that but you know like I know now been going through what I've been through I want to get it's my best you know what I'm saying so uh, I'm gonna show you guys a picture now, a little short footage of what it looks like at night. And uh, man, if you have any questions, y'all know, man, drop it down in the comment box below. Thank you. Uh, drop it down in the comment box below, and I'll definitely shoot you a uh, shoot you a comment back. You know, if you have any questions about how we ran it. So I'll give you um, I'll give you what I got from the installation because we ran out of time because it got dark. And from that point, show you what it looks like, yo. I, I, I think this looks really, really good, especially if you go to a car show and you happen to be there at night. It's a real good look for the car. It's a real good look for the car. And not only that, um, you can change the colors of it. Well, the color that you buy is a color that you have. It's not like, you know, uh, you can just go in the system or, you know, go in, and the um, you connect and like change the color of it or something like that. You can't do that. Whatever color you uh, get is what the color that is going to be. In my case, my car is white, so I got white. Now you can buy different colors, and this is uh, actually, this is on eBay where I purchased this light from. Each set of lights, I, I had I bought four sets of lights. I only used three, so I still have one. Which I'm still trying to figure out. Well, not really figure out. I know what I want to do with it, but I'm just waiting on it right now. Uh, it just costs $4.99. The satellite costs four, it costs $4.99. Now, the type of labor that went in to, to put this in, man, yo, I tell you, I couldn't have did it without them. <laughs> but yeah, I'm, uh, I'm gonna get up with y'all later, man. I know this isn't like the traditional installation video that I would normally give you guys for, you know, any mods or something that I would do to the car. But, yo, know, I just had to share it with y'all, man. And I wanted to 
translate it as clear as possible about the, you know the connections and whatnot so it's real simple connections it's really simple i mean the hardest part of it though is just making it look like it came like that so i'm telling y'all man tearing this car down as far as taking the door panels off and hiding the wires and installing them like that i understand why these cars cost as much as they do they did not use any cheap stuff on these cars like when you tear this door down take the panel off and you see these screws and these clamps and all the stuff that's in between y'all will see trust me it, it, this car is worth every penny <laughs> they did not use any cheap stuff in my opinion y'all might you know have a different opinion but that's just my experience so all right guys here it is I'll give you a little bit of the installation process and i'm gonna give you the finished product of what it looks like at night and actually i'm gonna show you right now what it looks like in the daytime so you see the trim right here that's where it is for the door let me go on a pop it open and there it is hidden behind the door and this is for the dash you can barely see it you can barely see it and there's the other door all right y'all here's the footage for what it looks like at night I really hope y'all like it. I think that, you know, if you take your car serious and, you know, you just love doing stuff to your car like I do, that, you know, you take this into consideration and go on eBay, find them, you know, and, uh, man, take the time, install them, do it right. I promise you, man, you're going to enjoy them. They look hella good. They look real good. But anyway, y'all, I'm about to get up out of here. This is Johnny with JRT Productions. If it's your first time at the channel, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. I'm going to keep bringing y'all these hits. And uh, y'all be easy. Peace. Good job. Just wanted to show you how to finish product of the interior lights that I added. I don't know about y'all, man, but I think it really complements the color of the car. I think it just pops with the white. Once again, shout out to RK Morton. We all met in the end uh, the other video with Shaka. The idea came from him. And he really hooked it up, man. The boy came through. Installation is not for amateurs. <laughs> I couldn't get the entire thing on um, on tape for y'all, but uh You know what I'm saying? I'll ex I'll explain it to you as best as I can. Look at them dome lights. That blue just pops with it. That's what I'm talking about. The lights stay on even as you are driving. So I'm standing outside the car right now. Put these keys back in so it'll stop beeping. Okay. So something else that you'll notice. All right, y'all, so you know how you have your dimmer light? Your dimmer switch, I mean, so that you can like really Turn them up and turn them down. We have them connected so that you can actually turn them off and you can dim them. Oh, look at that. Y'all can't tell me that ain't fire right there. Ah, that's crazy, man. All right, anyway, so, yo, that's something that I think a lot of people should do. I mean, especially if you plan on going to car shows and stuff, because I know it's exactly what I'm planning on doing. I'm gonna get y'all that a little bit later. Anyway, this is it, man. White lights. I'll let y'all know where y'all can get these from. Camaros ain't the only one with the lights now. <laughs> All right, y'all, I'm out.